We're celebrating families today, and I'm back with Emerald Lagasse and his adorable son. Can I say you're adorable, EJ? <laughs> yes. Is it all right? And is there any other adjective you'd like me to apply to you? Uh... Highly intelligent. Yes? Chef EJ. <laughs> Chef EJ. Oh, but that's, yes, that's okay. I'll call you Chef, too. Mm. Okay? Yes. And uh, we have another reason to celebrate today, right, Emerald? We're we making do, a big uh, announcement. Yeah, but uh, you guys are hearing it right here live. Um, you know, it's, it's, been a, it's been a long time. And uh, uh, the Emerald Lagasse Show will debut uh, Sunday night, <clears throat> March 28th at 8 o'clock p.m. on ION Television. And I'm very yes. excited about that. Yes. Um, and we're pleased, yeah. we're so pleased to introduce the chairman and CEO of Ion Media Networks, Brandon Burgess, That's who's Brandon sitting Burgess, right yeah. there in our front row. Brandon, welcome to our show. Yeah. And next to him is our executive chairman, uh, Charles Koppelman, who's been working with Brandon on That's getting right. this whole deal mm -hmm. put together. And uh, Brandon, we're very delighted to be joining the Absolutely. Ion family. It's really exciting for us. And, uh, and oh, yeah, I see Robin Marino, our CEO, uh, sitting behind them. Absolutely. Hi, Robin. So, EJ. Very exciting. All right, EJ. What do you think about your dad's new show? Um, I, I mean, I really, honestly, I really think it's going to be great. Yes. <laughs> honestly, I really think you're right. <laughs> And EJ is um, in uh, is featured in our Everyday Food magazine. Did you like That's right. posing for your first pictures? Yep. Show them. Show them to everybody. And this is what really got Brandon's uh, Brandon's attention. It was you, EJ, right, Brandon? See, we actually EJ and I now in Everyday <laughs> Food are, are starting uh, together writing our, our, our column uh, for Everyday Food. And of course, we started out with a great nacho recipe, which is in this issue. But wait till you see the, the next issue. Now, I will have to say this. Uh, these ribs, which are EJ's ribs, have been in everyday food before, uh, and they're really quite delicious. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to let EJ take over in a second, but yeah. before that, this really came uh, when he was a little boy, um, particularly in the summer at the beach house, and we would have groups of people over, so this is a great uh, recipe to do. Uh, of course, with the playoffs and Super Bowl coming up, you can, you can do them. You don't have to do them uh, outdoors. You do them indoors in the oven. Who's going to be in the Super Bowl, Emerald? Oh, boy. Martha, don't well, get me started. I heard you were a Giants fan. What happened to your team? Oh, my God. I mean, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you, are, are you now are you rooting for the Jets? Yeah, I'm rooting for the Jets and the Saints. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bud. Okay, let's, let's make the marinade. So, so we, have, we have two racks of a baby... Is it a rub or a marinade? Uh, it's, it's a, it, well, we start with a rub, but it's, it, it's a marinade, what we're okay. doing. All right, each, go ahead. Why don't you mix your own... Uh, you can... Yeah, there you go. Pour it in there as much as you like. This is, uh, this is my rib rub, uh, which is a, uh, you know, just an array of, of spices, oh. paprika-based, uh, but fantastic on, on pork products, okay. in particular ribs. Black pepper. He likes to add a little black pepper. Yeah, and, and what's that? And a little salt. Let me let him talk, All right. Dad. Now, uh, where's okay. the other ingredient? Uh, this is celery salt. Mm -hmm. A very important ingredient, wouldn't you say? Yes, I would say. Okay, so add it. Add it. That's all? Nope, that is not all. A pinch? It says one tablespoon. Mm -hmm. Is that too much? Oh. Hmm. Add... <laughs> <laughs> I was set up for that. <laughs> Add the celery salt, bud. Okay, buddy. There. So one mix... teaspoon. You want to mix that really good? Now, each. Is he a little emerald or something? Uh, oh my God. Each, let me ask you. What do you have the? Uh, what's the oven on? Um. Well, what's the temperature that we have it on? It's um on three hundred. Okay. Okay. And after we season these ribs, both sides, okay. how long are we going to cook them for? Like uh, three hours and 50, well, between the three hours and the 15 minutes, when, it, when you get past three hours, you will, have, you will have to take them out and put on the barbecue sauce, which is right over there. Okay. And whose barbecue sauce would this be? My dad's. Oh. <laughs> and it's called Bambi Q. That's right. Barbecue Bambi. sauces. Bambi cute. All right, let's let's sprinkle the ribs. Okay. All right, Ned. And we'll show them we'll show them the secret okay, of really sort of wrapping You're it up, right? Oh yeah. 
So, so Brandon, I want to get back to Brandon Burgess just one second. Uh, just tell us how excited you are, because we're so excited. Well, we're, we're thrilled. We're, uh, thanks for having us on the show here today. Um, what most people don't realize is ION has been one of the faster growing networks in the nation. And, uh, you know, Emerald, we're, we're in awe to be working with you. You're a, a, a food superstar, but not only that, you're also about fun and family and friends. And we're pleased to bring you to prime time every Sunday starting March 28th to 100 million homes across the United States. We're so very we're, we're thrilled. excited about it. Oh, boy. And we're going to be live in the audience, Emerald. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So, boy, you're doing a fantastic job. Thank Rub you. that in. So you don't have so, to worry. If you, if you have extra spice left, you can keep it in an airtight container or even in one of the zip bags uh, for the next uh, use that you're going to do that. And show, show them how to rub that right in there each. Uh, so what you'll do is you'll, you'll, well, you'll do what I do. You'll, you'll take the uh, rib rub, the um, celery salt, the um, pepper, and the salt, and just mix it together in a bowl with a spoon. Then you'll take it, do it on the front side, and then you'll flip them over. And do it on the back. And do it on the back. All right. Great. Now, there's a, there's okay, a secret. Okay, how long do we keep it on? Well, there's oh. a secret to these ribs now, and I'm going to show, I'm gonna show oh. you. Each. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fold this over real quick now, okay? okay? So, so we like using parchment paper. So we have parchment and then foil. We don't like the foil to be on the food. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this little pocket like this, and we're going to, as he said, 300 degrees for three hours. Now, can you do this on the grill? And you can do it on the grill, low, but just low, doing it right. Low, 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 low grill. grill. But slow is the way to go, and uh, you want to just put them in the oven, like I said, three hours. The 15 minutes pot that EJ was talking about, that's when the barbecue sauce uh, is going right. to go on. We open up the packet, we baste it one side with the, with the barbecue sauce, and then they go in there for another 20 minutes or so, 30 mm. minutes, uncovered. You leave the packet so, open. I don't see any finished ones. Well, wait till you see. Just wait till you see. You know, okay. I, absolutely. Okay, so... Uh... You always come bearing gifts to our studio. That's right. What did you bring? Well, you know what? Everybody in the studio audience is going to get a barbecue sauce today. Oh, uh, that's just right. part of that. Mm. Yes, indeed. Yummy. Great and, stuff. Oh, it's so good. And when we come back, Emerald's going to show us how to make a simple side dish to serve with these ribs, which will be done. Stay with us. Yeah, you did a great job.